Hatha Yoga Illustrated book, which is full of pictures of really good looking people doing fantastic things. And it's just at the back of the book and I just found it. So I've been practicing a little bit, um, but I've made it my own. I've kind of added a few things. But it starts in Tadasana in the middle of the mat. So I like to bring my arms out, palms out in Tadasana. So you just feel that connection in the shoulders. If you prefer to have the hands down, then that's fine. Open the chest. So again, I'm not mirroring you and we start do everything on the left first. So we'll do the left side first, lift up, inhale, fold the left palm over the right and then start to reach over towards the right. So the left side opens and then twist a little bit. So you're looking down, but still leaning over. Take a couple of breaths here. And then lifting back up again. Good. We will be repeating these things quite a lot. And then legs wide. Extend the arms out. Hands to the hips. Lift up. Inhale. As you exhale, coming forward. Take your time to come forward. And then bring, bring the right hand to the floor and the left hand on top. If you can't reach your hands to the floor, don't worry about it. Just let them hover. And then bring the head towards the palms of the hands. So if you can get your hands on the floor, the right hand will be on the bottom, the left hand will be on top. Firm up the legs, soften the breath. If you can't, you're still just hanging, bringing the crown of the head towards the palms of the hands. Quieten the face. And then soften the knees. Bring the hands up, take, bring the left hand to the heart centre. So you got your left palm on first, extend the arms out. And then turn the left foot out, the right foot in a little bit. Turn towards the left foot, keep the hips forward. And again, if you can't get your hands to the floor, just come forward a little bit. If you can get the hands to the floor, reach the hands towards the floor. And then extend the spine. Both legs are straight if you can. Soften the breath, lengthen the spine. Good. Stepping up to the top of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, fold forwards. So we'll step back with the right leg. So the left leg is in front. Knee to the floor, we're coming back into crescent lunge. So lifting up, inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands down. Slide the left leg back. And then we're lifting into this pose again with the arms up and back. Exhale, bring the hands back to the hips. Step forward again, left leg. Crescent lunge. I did say we are going to be doing this a lot. <laughs> and then press the hands down. Step back with the left leg all the way into downward dog. So we'll just settle into downward dog for a few breaths. And then bring the big toes together. Lift your left leg up. So coming into three-legged dog with the left leg. If it feels too much, keep it nice and low or just bring it a little bit behind you. And then bring the left leg down. Look forward to the front of the mat. And then coming all the way down. Elbows in. Nice big cobra. Good. Sliding back, head to the floor. Backs of the palms on the floor into a nice curved child pose. Let's just stay for a couple of breaths in child pose. Breathing towards the lower back. And then as you lift the head, press the hands down. Tuck the toes under and we're coming into a squat with the arms on the outside of the legs. Press the legs into the arms and extend the spine, tailbone down. Good, really nice. 
So try and lift the upper chest. And then press into the heels, lift up. Inhale. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Soften the knees, roll up. Come back with the hands at the heart centre. So we are at the end of the mat now. But that's, but that's one round on the left. So we'll do the right and then we'll put both together. Okay, everybody? It's kind of a strange one, but it's nice. I quite like it. So, uh, Tadasana. And then lift up. Right palm over left. Lift up. And then opening the right side body as you go towards the left. And then twisting to look down. So just the upper body twisting. Lifting back up. And then stepping out. You can probably all go nice and deep and wide. Hands to the hips. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forwards. So this time we're bringing the left palm down first and the right palm on top. So either to the floor or if you can't quite get to the floor, just soften down and bring the head towards the palms of the hands. Good. So you have, if you have got one hand on top of the other on the floor, bring them back to the level of your feet if you can. Good. And then maybe some of you will get the head to, to touch the palms. Don't force it. Don't worry if you're nowhere near. <laughs> Quiet in the face. Soften the knees, roll up through the spine. Bring the hands to the heart center. Extend the arms out. And then turning the right leg out. Left leg in a little bit. Turn towards the right and then start to fold forward. So if, if you can just get that far, that's fine. Both legs are lengthening. If you can get the arms lengthening to the floor, then do. Extend the spine. And then look to the top of the mat. Step up, lift the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forwards. And then we'll step back with the left leg this time. Long, low lunge. So the right leg's in front. Good. Extend the spine forwards rather than looking down. And then bring that knee to the floor. Squeeze the hips together. You know what you're doing now. Crescent lunge. Bring the hands down. Step back with the right knee. Lift up. Open the chest. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper now. Hands to the heart center. If you need to touch the floor to bring the right leg forward, that's fine. Right leg forward again. Crescent lunge. And then press the hands down. Step all the way up and back to downward dog. Smooth, long breaths. Bring the big toes together and start to lift and extend the right leg up. Right leg comes back you can come onto the toes if you want. Look to the front of the mat. Slide all the way down into Cobra. Pelvis to the floor. Sophia, if you want to keep the pelvis off, that's fine. Elbows in. Chest forward. And then slide all the way back, head to the floor, backs of the palms to the floor, head down. So bring the backs of the palms down, see so a nice curved shape. Maybe we could call this full moon pose. So let the shoulders slide away from each other, all the little muscles on the spine releasing. And then as you lift the head, press the hands down, tuck the toes under. 
And then ease yourself back into this squat where the upper body is extending up, the lower body is extending down. And you're squeezing the arms into the outside of the legs. Good. Then all you have to do is press the heels down, lift up. Inhale. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. And then soften the knees, roll up. 